I was depressed and just didn't really care a lot. Well, and... Enough in caps. What? I know. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Welcome, once again, to Chill Filter, the podcast where we drink whiskey so you don't have to. But you probably should, and you probably are, and that's why we like you. I feel like it's been a while since I've done the intro. At least a good few episodes. I've been kind of leading it off, but you know what? Cool, that was beautiful. Thanks. That was not depressing uh, at all. I know, right? Some business to get to. Um... Yeah, I'm going to reiterate, I think what we sent, mentioned last time, it'd be great to get some uh, reviews and ratings on Apple Podcasts. I am not an Apple, I, I'm not an iPhone user, so it's harder to do if you're not an iPhone user, but there's a way to do it if you're like an Android user like me. Um, so check it out, do it for us, do it for the pod, do it for the Would you give the boys a review? Give the boys a review, not just the a rating. The boys work hard on podcasting. <laughs> We've been at Did this give them for a almost five years. So it's about time we got some more reviews than the recents that we haven't gotten. Uh, that's okay. the business. Uh, otherwise, yeah, it's been a fun week. Robbie, I, I'll i tell you one thing before I ask you how you're doing. I'm doing better myself, but I'll get into it yeah. after you talk. Well, I got to tell you, Cole, I was yeah. a little worried about you this week. Nah. Because Robbie went off on texting you. And I got minimal response, which is okay. Really? Well, you know, I sent you a bunch of, bunch of image. I mean, it was it was oh, always yeah, delayed, yeah. and you're very usually yeah. very quick to getting back to people. And then, like yeah. people message, we had some messages this week, and I would message people back, and you didn't. Yeah, that's which is true. totally I... acceptable because yeah, I'll tell typically you, why, yeah. you are the man. And I thought, oh, I hope Cole's doing okay. So to start nah, off, I'm glad fun. you're doing better. You look yeah. like you're feeling better. You sound like you're feeling better. So my I, beard is shorter, which is the downside. I yeah, okay. So I, similarly, Chelsea's like, can you just go to stubble? I miss when you just have like beardy stubble. Oh, and I was like, cool. okay, I'll do it. But I'm mm-hmm. gradually going up with it. So okay. next episode it'll be a little shorter. Like episode after that, a little shorter. Because this is one of those things where it's it like, out, you're shrinking it in. Yeah, I got. I had shrinkage. Um, <laughs> I was at a pool. <laughs> Um, yeah, because like if you just go straight to stubble, people are like, oh, like, yeah, like, like the girls are always be like, like Finley loves my beard and she'd be like, ah, uh-huh. oh, put it back on. Oh, like, everyone else is like, because you're, mm-hmm. I, I'm glad you shaved it, but Ugh. so yeah, right, gradually going shorter. And, uh, yeah, no, life is good, it's been busy. Like, oh man, we got more. Like, I think today was our last day in Boise where we're having like. I had like I had like legitimate ice on my window today and had to scrape my really? windows. Yeah. 90 um, degrees here today. No, oh man. Uh but like I think I'm hoping like the the valley got its last snow. I'm fine if it snows in the mountains, man. Like build mm-hmm. that up. We can use less fires here in the west coast. Uh but yeah, I was like I'm just I'm ready to move on into spring and it has not yet felt like we've had maybe 5 days where it's like open the windows all day not all day like after the sun's up and you know play in the yard mm-hmm. like we've only had like 5 days like that which is not what we usually have but i'm fine with it yeah. if it's no like it means less fires in the summer mm-hmm. and fall i'm okay with that yeah they're scary <sighs> but uh no things are good we did like our statewide testing this week so it like threw the schedule off and kids are like and teachers are like, what day of the week is it? It should be the weekend already. What is going on? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, the girls at the elementary have a sock hop on Friday. So we're going to go Ooh. to that. Hop and in the sock. Yeah, I'm super excited. Chelsea went to a zoo field trip for the girls today. And that was cool. Nice. But it, yeah, like it was too cold for the animals to come out, though. So they didn't really get to see any animals, which is sad. Um, uh, Except for I went to the zoo this week. Did you? You yeah, got a good zoo? the Richmond there? Zoo. Yeah, it's all right. Pretty the good. rich man zoo. You drive a Lexus, you can go to the rich man zoo. I drive an Audi. Oh, I thought it was a Lexus. Right. My bad. You I don't know what's the... better. Yeah. I I will never drive either of those, so I have no idea. It's fancy um, land I live in. You? This land of coal. The land of coal, which is not near as nice as the land of Cancun, Mexico. Um yeah. And then what else? Oh, and the Mars got a track meet tomorrow. And so I don't know, like girls have dances, like not dances, but like doing dance and stuff like this. We're just uh-huh. busy, man. 
Nice. I am excited though. I love doing mm -hmm. projects, and yeah. uh, I built, I made a frame to go around a mirror that my good friend Papa G, my god uncle nice. in law, gave uh -huh. us. I built this frame around it and trimmed it out, and it looks all nice and spiffy. And the girls help. How me big is the it. mirror? Um, it's probably like twenty inches by forty-eight. So it's nice. a decent size. Nice. But yeah, so that was fun. Had a project, did it with the girls. Gonna that hang it up nice. on the wall tonight. And it's nice. cute because they dress up and they've been using it to like it's gonna be the oh, mirror. So in our upstairs, we have that hallway where all the bedrooms come out of. And they're like, we're just gonna we need to hang a mirror there so they can all come out of their bedroom, look at their outfits, and use that. It's like the That's community cute. mirror. So yeah, so got mm -hmm. that hanging up there. And I did like I did the I built the wood frame and then mm -hmm. uh, I painted it with black chalk so we can write like affirming messages nice. on there, like you're beautiful, your dad loves you. What do you need a mirror for? Get out of here, you dummy. So yeah. just yeah. look in your heart. Look at look at yourself the way your father sees you. You're beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's about it. I don't know. Nothing else too much. I'm not gonna try to push it. How are you doing, buddy? Like you say you're doing better. Why are yeah. you doing better? Did you finally listen to my meditation app I sent you? <laughs> not yet, you but son I son of I a I gun. Will. I'm not just saying that. I think I will. It's just been a busy week. So this yeah. week, I probably most of the messages we got that I didn't respond to well. I was at like a not a not a conference, not even close. It's more like a retreat for my church, mm -hmm. like a two two and a half day thing. It was on like so Sunday to week Tuesday. You went, last week you went to the treat, and this week you went to the retreat. <laughs> hey oh, that's for sure. Oh, I treated last week, and then I retreated. Um, run away. Yeah, it was good. It's it was good to like, things. yeah. Is that idols? No, it's that's Monty Python. You reach oh, it's from been the a bunny. while. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's funny. It's got things. Um, take off the holy hand grenade and count to three. No <laughs> more. Oh, yeah, no less. Oh, um, anyway, sorry. Now you're good. Uh, so it was good to, I think it was especially good. I saw some old friends. Nice. That I haven't seen in a while, How as well they? as it was a good few days off work. So, yeah. What'd you say? I said, "How old?" You saw some old friends. I said, "How old were they?" Hi, oh, just a little bit older than me, Robbie. No, but uh, that Morgan was nice. Hart, I got some time to just think and chill, and uh, even just like most of the times that I have like depressive weeks or anything like that, it's just like, all right. It's not even like I think it'll last. Like I'm always like these days, especially not dealing with the depression I used to deal with. It's like, no, nah, it'll pass. And and even if it's like a um, substantiated feeling of sadness, I know it'll still pass. And so that's I, I, it's a blessing because I used to yeah, live in a, in a life where I didn't know if things would pass. And um, so, yeah, we are. I think that's, a, that's the beauty better. that comes with experience, right? Yeah, totally. Like, Remember when you're a kid, the world's over, you know, or even it sometimes, is. you know, when you're a little older than a kid, like you're just like, oh, I don't know what's next. You know, I'm scared because I, I hit yeah. hit hard when I was like in college and it was just like, mm -hmm. I just would always feel like, I don't know if it's ever going to get better. Like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And then and you then, met Chelsea and it got way better. Out kicked my coverage. Um, but that's one of those things like you, when you have experience and you're like, okay. I just mm -hmm. got to ride the storm and I'll be there. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. well, I'm glad you're feeling better, bud. Yeah. And I feel like I feel bad for our kids sometimes because they don't have that perspective. And it's hard to see them like struggle thinking the world is over now. And like, I have no perspective of what's ahead when it's just like, it's not a big deal back or like, you know, Finley or Juniper or Mara. Yeah. It's like it next week will be very different you know and What's like mean? next tomorrow will be very different you know yeah, i was telling my coworkers like we've gosh so the twins really didn't do much of like preschool and so like they have they, mm -hmm. they got a lot of colds this year which is you know yeah. par for the course in general right like that's school yeah. school, school age kind of thing mm -hmm. and i just kept thinking to myself i am so glad they're old enough to know like you're sick today yeah, you'll feel better tomorrow. Like, yeah, for sure. when they don't know that as a parent, you're like, mm. oh, it's gonna be is like, this forever. Or is this gonna be forever? Burden, and you know, mm -hmm. and so it's, it's like, no, hey, take a nap, go to bed later. You're gonna feel yeah. better tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, it's just sure. hard not knowing if it's gonna get better. Yeah, that's what parents are there for to reassure that things will get better. 
I haven't even mm. sipped my entry bud. What are you, gonna out, ha- what are you having? Uh, actually, a Michter's 10 Rye, uh, no, which I haven't had in a while. So we'll see how it goes. Had myself a little bit of a 10 cup 10. Delicious. Always good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How much you got left of that bottle? Um, Not much, but I got another uh-huh. bottle today. So, hey, hey, I'm good to go. It's getting hard to find. It's like it's, it's like on the special shelves. Like it doesn't show up. Oh, yeah. Well, you should buy as much as you can because I hope. I I mean, I'm assuming they learned and they're like, yeah, let's just keep making this stuff. But it would suck if they stop because that's a that's a go to for me. I will say I thought about this today. Um, Idaho mm-hmm. like grew exponentially. Yeah. Um, during COVID years and mm-hmm. like you couldn't find anything. Mm-hmm. Um, for a long time, but I think yeah. because like they go year by year, I don't know fiscal yeah, year, adjust. calendar mm-hmm. year, Mayan year, but um, mm-hmm. it's been adjusted. So like I can pretty much find Buffalo Trace every other week, which is nice. kind of cool, but not as cool I don't as even it used get to that be. luxury. Yeah, not as cool as it used to be, where you could just mm-hmm. buy it. Mm-hmm. So it's looking up. <laughs> oh geez. oh i don't you, know where that came from if you're watching on youtube you saw it if you're listening on the podcast cole just did a was there rail, a, was there a, buggy? a rail of whiskey and snorted it up his nose yeah right up the nose. that's a lie <laughs> but um yeah i think that's my life okay oh um yeah we went <laughs> to the zoo how, i love how you just pause yeah i gotta think time. sometimes yeah. yeah, Beck loved the zoo. So we have all these like flashcards at home and Beck just plows through them. She's like giraffe, hippo, you know, uh, iguana, you know, and goes through them all. And she's so smart, dude. And I, 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 she's the smartest. Don't always want to say that, but like we don't show her TV. We just show her books and she just loves books. And she yeah, we like, don't, we don't do that either. No, nah, you got older smart. kids. And you had twins, and and then that, and then like, yeah, how I'm old was? Let's you. see. Amara is eight years 13. older than the other girls. Yes. So yeah, you're good. Here's not the that, thing. I'm not a judger on people that show TV. No. Uh, Heather and I were like, let's see how long we can go. That was our thing. We weren't like, you know, super dogmatic about it. But um, yeah. So she just she just she'll ha- she'll hand you a book. Say read. <laughs> and uh, and then and then I'll be like I'll be like reading the the words of the book and and she'll finish the last word if I like pause, and so oh, she's nice. so familiar with all these things she's learning and uh, we'll say you know where are your where are your knees where are your calves where are your ears and she'll just where's all your money up. get on the yeah, floor yeah yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. classic parent that's that's discipline that's tough love for her mm-hmm. so um, oh, it's crazy oh, speaking of uh-huh. which. It's yeah. crazy. The twins are like reading now, which oh, that's crazy. Junie, Junie is, Junie is a sponge, so she picks stuff mm-hmm. up really quickly. Finley yeah. is very like social, emotional, and like mm-hmm. they went to the zoo today, and they were with a classmate, and the classmate didn't have a coat, and Junie starts taking her coat off, and Chelsea's like, "Hey, it's cold. Keep your coat on." And then her classmate goes, "She said she was gonna let me have it." Like that's Finley. Junie yeah. is like a sponge when it comes to like academics. Like she's reading books already. And I'm like, dang. Wow. So I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's a proud parenting moment on both fronts where like your kids Seriously. take care of other people. Your yeah. kids reading a book. If you combine their skills and their powers, they'll become a super kid. Yep. And if only they control heart, wind, water, fire, mm-hmm. and earth, then we'd have Captain Planet in the house. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, did you ever watch yeah. Captain Planet or are you too old for that? Never did. I don't know if it was a cable thing or I was too old for it, but I never he saw it. Fox, Captain Planet, oh, really? he's our mm. hero. Going to take pollution down to zero. Wow. It was on it was on the tail end of like I didn't know it was like that was the premise. Yeah, he's, it it's was like all saving about the world earth and like recycling yeah. mm-hmm. and loving Not the world, the earth. Yeah. And knowing what the dolphins thought about the pollution. That was the only thing the good the spirit of the only good thing the kid who had the heart power was for. He was like, I think the dolphins are sad. And meanwhile, there's like this guy like <laughs> like shooting water. That's funny. Fire. And he's yeah. like, I have this ink in wind, my heart. That, water, yeah. fire, heart. 
Hank. He pushes up his glasses. Although in a did, he, did he wear glasses? No. No. Oh. Sounds like a total nerd. <laughs> nerd, 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 nerd. <laughs> no. Were you were you were you a I bully, were, I were, I bullied were, or in the middle were. when you were a kid? Um, I, I would say it was in the middle. I was yeah. definitely like I was poor. So I uh-huh. definitely got bullied some. Mm-hmm. And, but Poor pitiful Robbie. It, it, I, we were, man. I got two new pairs of shoes, two new pairs of shoes a year from Payless. Nice. One was to play in, one was to wear to church. Nice. Um, yeah. And, but in high school, I became more popular because uh-huh. I'm friggin' hilarious mm-hmm. and fun. Yeah. Yeah, uh, smooth Robbie. But I was never like the party cool guy. And yeah, yeah. like because I didn't do that. I don't. I don't mm-hmm. Where are we going with this, Cole? I don't know. I was just wondering. Yeah, because I I was kind of in the middle myself. I had my moments of being bullied, and I had my mo. I was never a bully, but I was um, I was kind of in the middle in in high school, especially by my end of high school. I was depressed and just didn't really care a lot. Well, and enough in caps. What I know. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> well, I, so, uh, I so, yeah, maybe, maybe we'll save that topic for a little later. But um, no, nah, I think it is what it is. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't even worried about it. Like I it hit my like hit me emotionally for like a moment. And I was like, screw that. Like people on every good channel get flack. Well, that's the thing is uh, on YouTube. Like, and then he like, took it down. So, yeah. Yeah. Which makes me think thought about it but yeah that's one of those things he's like he's an okay so guy i was you know i messaged dramhound i'm like gosh we're getting new listeners that have not mm-hmm. been long long time like yeah because if know, they were first they would time know this, is what we do. Time <laughs> like, this is us like we're the whiskey yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. like we're not we're not we, we don't fake the funk on a nasty dunk we're here we this is who we are like we funk on a nasty dunk i think and I think that's, you know, like Dramhound was saying, like, you know, that's why I love you guys. Like, it is yeah. what it is. Like, we're real. We're open. It's more than just. Same with uh, the Smoking Oak. Yeah. Yes. He was, yeah. Mm-hmm. He was going to go scrappy. They were like going to bat bad. for us. Yeah. yeah. And you know what? Mm-hmm. And that's what I love. Like, we have really good listeners who are just like. I just like, I feel like I'm hanging ah, out with ah. you guys. You're my friends. Like. Yeah. Yeah, your friends have good days. Your friends have bad days. But you know what, man? Like, you just hang out and you, you chill and you like fun. help each other. So, mm-hmm. yeah, yep, and that's it. And yeah, like to me, I feel like if I had had that a while back, I would have been like, oh, it hurts to see. But I'm like, dude, like he's going to make a decision. Maybe he's listening now, but he's going to make a decision to keep listening or to stop listening. And that's his own decision. And I'm cool with either that. Either way, either way. Yeah. Glad to have you. Yeah. Glad, glad to, to have, have you move you. on. Whatever glad you choose for yourself. Either way. We love mm-hmm. it. So I so I have a. One more thing I do want to throw out there. Okay. He, this, this guy, I don't even remember his name because it's deleted and there's no record that I can find. Uh, but he said something that was like, you guys are too depressive and enough or something like that, uh, which is totally cool. It's his you know, way of saying that. Uh, but he, th- when I looked, there were like two comments besides ours. And I have a feeling and it, w- it would have been three because we each posted, we each said something. You said it on your personal, I said it on the chill filter. So it was like three. But when I looked after it was deleted, it technically said two comments. So I was like, did someone, like one of our listeners, like come, come to bat for us and just say, hey, you know, you know, whatever. And then he took it down and they, all the replies went away. I don't know. If you did, if you were one of our listeners that did like reply, I'm curious, hit us up. That's all I got to say. Like, I'm not really super upset about it. It really did make me feel like, um, you know, the podcast and other big, you know, venues or not venues, uh, big uh, outlets. They they get their share and Matt Porter gets his share. And that made me feel almost like, hey, if we're starting to get some flack and some uh, (laughs) criticism, something right. We're moving up a little bit bigger. Yeah. Yeah. You're You're reaching a wider audience. And yeah. Moose. Sorry, so, is, anyway, uh, you ready to go to break? We have a lot of history today. Oh, man. I feel like we're getting into a good vibe and talking, but yeah, we should probably move on. There will be more good vibing. 
I'll, I'll just be talking back. most of the time. I'll for the talk next over second. you. It's yeah, fine. Exactly. Yeah. All right. All right. So let's uh, send it to break. We'll be back. We'll talk a little notes. We'll get into Jack Daniels history and we'll drink some Jack Daniels 10 year and 12 years. So here we go to oh, break. We'll be right versus. back. Love it. <laughs> And we're back from break. What a my nice legs walk, are tired. My legs are tired. Ugh. I'm just going to shake off the leg tiredness <laughs> in my arm. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into it. Uh, some notes to get to. Really quick one note. Uh, reminder that there is not only a drink along this coming Friday, the 28th, uh, but there is That's a Matt Friday? Madness. Yeah. Like not, not main tomorrow. Man when we, yeah, Main Man Cole is going to be Jeez on Matt Madness. Louise. 9 p.m. Eastern. Please come and cheer me on. That stuff pumps me up. So if you're there and you're just saying, get it, Cole, or let's go, Cole. That is awesome. I appreciate Oklahoma every winner, little thing. Don't come home at all. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and then the just a reminder that right probably about 8.15 or so, we'll be doing a drink along. Just keep your eyes out for uh, talking, stuff like that on uh, Instagram. Drink along. We're going to be drinking Franklin County Distillers 141 Rye, which is a 141 proofer. Hazmat, oh, baby. Makes sense. Uh, so please join us, whether you're on Patreon or not. And uh, yeah, cheer me on if you can. That would help me a ton. So anyway, uh, today we're drinking a Jack Daniels. Uh, their 10-year batch two and their 12-year batch one Tennessee whiskey. Uh, it is weird that we've only thus far done three Jack Daniels bottles uh, on the podcast. And the most recent one was 98 episodes ago. And wow. before that, it was 97 episodes before that, that episode. So episode 153, we drank the single barrel barrel proof rye. Uh, episode 56, we drank a single barrel barrel proof Tennessee whiskey. And then episode 13, we actually drank the old, like the standard old number seven. And uh, we have one more on deck, at least. I think we have a few on deck, actually. But uh, we do have a twice-barreled American single malt uh, from Jack Daniels from this year. And then, uh, anyway, it's been a while since we talked about Jack Daniels. Uh, so let's cover some fun facts that may overlap, but I, not a lot of them do. It's kind of a cool uh, history today. And it's a little long, so I'm going to chug through it. Uh, so we hear a lot of claims uh, in America of oldest America. distillery. In the country. And Buffalo Trace actually claims the oldest continuously operating distillery in America. That means uh, it goes back to making whiskey without stopping uh, in, since 1812, including uh, during Prohibition where they were making uh, medicinal whiskey. Uh, Maker's Mark claims no, to have no, the oldest no, bourbon distillery around. in the world. But there's like a lot of asterisks about that. Um First of all, they weren't making Maker's Mark for that long. They've only been making Wait. Maker's Mark since 1954, which we were 54? close on the other day, or at least I was. Huh? 54? Yeah, that's Maker's when Mark? Maker's started being made. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought it was in the 80s. Uh, I think. Uh, no, I'm with you, bro. Didn't we talk I'm about this off, last week? Bro. But I felt like you were the further back one, and I was the more recent one, but whatever. Okay. Uh, but yeah, before it was Maker's Mark, uh, it was in Loretto, Kentucky. It was the Burks Distillery. And that distillery goes way back to 1773, 250 years ago, uh, which is crazy. Dude, but Jack Daniels, on the other hand, uh, takes Dude. its own record and it is the oldest registered distillery, or at least, yeah being registered so it is said to have been registered with the government in 1866 likely by a teenage jasper newton daniels uh also known as jack daniels uh and we've talked about this before but tennessee whiskey is definitely a thing and it's got its rules it does. uh and that is unless you're grandfathered in which we'll get to uh tennessee whiskey rules are these uh first of all made in tennessee second at least 51% corn. Thirdly, distilled to no higher than 160 proof. Four, barreled at no higher than 125 proof. Five, aged in new charred uh, oak barrels. And lastly, 
they incorporate the Lincoln County process. And the Lincoln County process, for those who don't remember or know, is the process in which usually prior to aging, a distiller will filter their distillate through maple charcoal. Uh, fun fact, you might have, you might not have known, uh, the filtering part uh, of the process typically takes about four days, at least for Jack chill? Daniels. Um, oh, it's chill. It's super chill. Um, but it's not chill filtration. But That's they might cool. do that. I wouldn't be surprised if Jack Daniels chill filtered. Uh, but Tennessee whiskey makers will claim that the Lincoln County process disqualifies Tennessee whiskey from being a bourbon. Uh, but it basically doesn't. Uh, and I even looked what? into the laws. It's super interesting, actually. Long story short, because I don't have too much time to really dig deep. Uh, there is a section of the bourbon laws uh, in dig like deep. 1864. That was my nickname in elementary school. Dig Straight deep. up the nose. <laughs> I was um, bourbon laws. I don't know. No, <laughs> I'll find something that my nickname in high school was. But uh, let's say that at least specifically for straight whiskey, if you remove more than 15, this is like the rule, like it's a little bit of legal jargon paraphrase, but jargon if you brother. remove more than 15%, quote, of the fixed acids or volatile acids or esters or soluble solids or higher. That was your nickname in high school. Soluble solids. Nope. Oh, that's good. Uh, Asters. Asters. Ass turds. <laughs> Yeah, you, <laughs> and I was bullied real bad, Robbie. Yeah. But anyway, uh, I was, wait, wait, I'm alcohols. gonna stop you there because I remember something uh -huh. I was gonna say. Uh -huh. I'm at a stage in my life where mm -hmm. I reflect on my life and go, "You were stupid then. Your frontal yeah. lobe's now developed, and you look back on yeah. what you did." And I have gone back and apologized to people. I'm like, I am sorry. I feel bad how I treated you. Yeah. I didn't realize I was bullying at that time. And if you have any ill will towards me. I am sorry. We can talk about it. Yeah. Luckily, I've come back. Uh -huh. Good track record. They were like, no, it's not you. You're fine. Nice. I did that twice this weekend. Uh, so, saw some old friends and just gave a quick apology. Hey, this is how I was back then. And I apologize. Oh, and nice. they were very well received and mostly just, brushed away. So Did we just have a whiskey sensey moment? I think we had a Bush's baked beans moment. Yeah. The best Bush's beans for your beans. buck. Fiber for the protein buck. Yeah. And for the you heart. more and to get stronger. Yeah. If you need to forgive someone, get yourself a can of Bush's baked beans. All right. Back to the stuff. Make that so anyway, into a they, song, Mr. Porter. They were saying, yeah, exactly. Forgiveness beans. I like it. <laughs> we'll tell we'll tell the shelf turds. Um, but yeah, if you remove Which more than is also good for the, make Bush's baked beans is also good for. Making, making shelter. shelter yeah that's why there's so many good songs but anyway if you remove more than 15 percent of quote the fixed acids or volatile acids or esters or soluble solids or higher alcohols or more than 25 percent of the soluble color unquote you can't call it a straight whiskey anymore and that can apply to bourbon in this case so tennessee whiskey fanatics that say tennessee whiskey is not a bourbon say that too much is, quote, extracted from the spirit during the charcoal mellowing, which makes it not fit the bill of bourbon. But here is the loophole in the law, which is very interesting. That actually does not disqualify it from being you say bourbon. loophole or poop hole? Uh, a little bit of both. And the law actually says whiskey. Um, and this is where it gets very interesting. And technically, the Lincoln County process doesn't occur before aging. Uh, and distillate before aging, at least according to law, is not called whiskey. And whiskey can't be called whiskey until it's aged at least a moment in, in uh, wood or oak usually. Um, but anyway... So this law doesn't apply in this case. And it's a fun fact. You can tell your Tennessee whiskey friends when they defend that it is not a bourbon. Technically it is if it fits, you know, those Tennessee whiskey rules. So uh, there is one Tennessee whiskey that does not use the w Tennessee whiskey standards. And that's Pritchard's Distillery, who were calling their bourbon Tennessee whiskey before the rules were put into place uh, and they were not cool with losing their title because they weren't using the Lincoln County process. They were apparently caught saying 
if I wanted my whiskey to taste like Jack Daniels, I would make it like Jack Daniels. <laughs> anyway, That's Jack awesome. Daniels is the highest selling uh, American whiskey brand. It is estimated that they sell, get this, about 150 million bottles of Jack every year, which is like almost a half a bottle per person in the U.S. Anyway. Salute uh, to you, and... you, alcoholics. Yeah, exactly. And that's that's Jack, baby. Anyway, uh, the one more fun fact is that, yes, it is made in Moore County, which is a dry county, which means that the sale of alcohol is prohibited in the county, which is funny. Can they uh, dance? There, there is a loophole. Can What's they that? dance? Can they dance or do they got to go across Probably the not. bridge to dance? They got to go across the bridge to dance, too. How are they? Uh, there is a loophole lose? to the uh, foot loose pole. No, no. Ooh, they can loop. sell commemorative bottles at, of Jack at the distillery in Moore County, uh, but it's filled with their whiskey. Yes, but the purchase is like legally for the bottle itself, as opposed to the contents therein. Uh, that's the loophole. And I once heard a myth that the, the uh, master distillers of Jack Daniels had to taste their own whiskey outside of the county as it is a dry county. But that is not true. Consuming alcohol is allowed in the county, especially by the you know, master distiller. Selling. But selling alcohol is, outside of the exactly is not allowed. Uh, anyway, there are yeah, those so are some fun facts about allowed. Jack Daniels. Let's get into what we're drinking today. We're drinking Jack Daniels, not only the 10-year uh, batch two, but the 12-year batch one. Uh, two bottles, but both came out at the same time. Uh, and they're a big deal for Jack Daniels. Why? Because they're age stated. The 10 year, which officially came out last year as batch one, uh, there was was the first age stated Jack Daniels bottle since the early 1900s. Apparently, Jack Daniels is known for aging about I was four born years in the 1900s. Minimum. What's that? I was born in the 1900s, not the early 1900s. Oh, late. I was born in the 1900s. The very late. 1900s. Anyway, yeah, it's it's known for aging at least four years minimum, and then deciding when to bottle it after that based on the taste. Uh, that pretty much goes for most of their products. And yes, their barrel proofs can be known to age up to sometimes seven or so years, uh, but that's their mo: is start at four and then decide after that. Uh, these are substantially more, uh, you know, ten years minimum here, uh, which can be a huge request, which had been a huge request from Jack Daniels connoisseurs for years. So making uh, Jack Daniels making this move was a big move. It was awesome. Uh, not only aging it longer, but substantially longer. And not only that, putting an age statement on it, which is cool. Uh, the 12 year Tennessee whiskey is a brand new release this year. They haven't done 12 year ever, or at least since about 100 years or so. Um, and batch two of the 10 year right beside it. They came out at the same time. Uh, Jack Daniels Tennessee Whiskey Mash Bill is heavy corn. It's 80% corn, 12% barley, 8% rye. New metal band. That was a nickname in college. My new metal band was name. Heavy Corn. Yeah. He heavy Corn. Yeah. The 10 year is 97 proof. The 12 year is 107 proof. And the Lincoln County process was used like all of their Tennessee whiskeys. Uh, total wine price for the 10 year, 70. For the 12 year, 80. And a huge shout out, a baller it's shout like $5 out. Five dollars per year. Yeah, that's it's mostly close to true. Um, the a baller ding ding shout out to Brian Rapp for sending us Seriously, these samples. Always we really appreciate you, Brian. Thank you, Brian. Yeah. Oh, uh, another shout out to all the listeners. Like uh -huh. drink them both, drink them both, drink them both. Yeah, it's yeah. like that's it's like Jack Daniels, Sean, Marco, Brian. Versus 12. I don't know who else I'm. We're having like yeah. this old like playoff between the two jacks yeah. the old jack off here we go all the right here jack off mm -hmm. all right which one's better i don't know gotta put them in your mouth see if they glow yep <laughs> that's for sure all right i i what are we doing? Glasses, we're doing the, so i'm gonna have to we're doing the uh 10 year first yes okay uh do you want to go from like nose nose palette palette no 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 do you want to go neat neat yes palette palette Yes, okay. I got you. Yeah. Okay. Nose wise, a little late. Right I get a little latex on the tenure, which okay. I'm not a huge fan of. 
unless you get me drunk enough. <laughs> um, yeah, it's kind of like late, like what I get from Woodenville, that latex nose, yeah. semi sweet, but not. I don't know. It's not great. Great. You I think love so? It. What, what are you getting? So uh, at first, you kind of get the like what I would expect from a Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof, where it's a little bit uh, oaky and um, okay. and powerful, but then it turns into a little bit of like sweet. And that sweet fades to banana for me on the nose. I'm not okay. I'm not that. I can I can see the oak, but I don't mm, see the banana. I love it. Great nose. Great nose. Okay. Yeah. Let's give it the old siparoo. I can get a little bit of banana on it, mm -hmm. but it comes in like in the middle of the palate. To start. Ooh. Is, yeah, you just hit the mid. I don't know. I gotta go for yeah. another sip. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. It is a little complex. Like you're getting a little hit here and then it changes. Um, I love this. This is this is my jam, especially for Jack Daniels. It's not watery like the old number seven. It's got a nice proof to it. Uh, I, I, I could go for a tiny bit more proof, which we might get from the, t the 12 year, which is 10 proof higher, 5% higher. But um, I like it. Okay. Uh, bananas. Uh, but before bananas, it was like a complex fruitiness. And then it's shifted to bananas kind of on the finish. And I love it. So I get a little bit of like, initially I get a little bit of like spiciness on the front end. Uh -huh. <clears throat> then more bananas. Um, but I'm getting a lot of bananas right now. And I even uh -huh. just cleansed my palate a little bit with some bubbly water. Um, but it is, it's good. I like it. I do like it a lot. I don't know if I love it, mm -hmm. but I definitely like it. It's got a, got some complexity to it. And I wish, here's the problem. And I always mm -hmm. hate when we do two whiskeys side by side because you like uh -huh. to fit a format, you have to like bounce off each other. And to bounce yeah. off each other, you don't really get to like enjoy. Yeah. So, I feel like this is one I want to sit with longer because there is some complexity to it. I'm not yeah. getting like um, latex medicinal off it at all. It was just my nose, but like mm -hmm. palate wise, it's really tasty. Yeah. I this don't is, even want to so, move on to the, I don't want to move on to the 12. I want to sit with this for a second, but yeah, do what I got to do. This is, uh, I like this because it is Jack Daniels. I don't typically drink old number seven. I would prefer a lot of things over it when I'm handed a low, you know, low shelf kind of day. Mid, mid ish, mid low, low mids, lower middle class. You had a problem lower with middle lower middle class? Middle class I, I avoid the lower oh. middle class of bourbons. Just told you I had to get no, you but like, pay less and you're like making fun of us. Thanks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, no, I mean, like with uh, like if I were headed makers and this, I would choose makers easily over this. Uh, or even like Woodford in this, I'd probably choose. I don't know if I've ever bought a fifth of I Jack mean, not Daniels. this, uh, Jack Daniels. Old number seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know if I've bought a fifth of Jack Daniels. I don't think I ever have. Yeah. Have you? I don't think I have either. Um, no, I did once, but it was for cooking. Uh, and it was a you bad cooked? idea. What did you make? Idea. Do you remember what you made? So I was in this like phase where I was making um, epic mealtime type meals. And I was like, I wonder how Jack Daniels tastes in meatloaf. And it did not taste good. <laughs> I wonder how Jack Daniels tastes in meatloaf. Yeah. Meatloaf, like, you know, manly meatloaf. meatloaf. I hate meatloaf. Get me drunk off the Jack Daniels meatloaf. I thought it would like give it some like complexity. But it tasted like barf. <laughs> and I don't even barf off Jack Daniels, though. Oh, uh, good. But that's what I learned. Anyway, I don't love old number seven, but old number seven, if you like broke it down, is like has some good parts to it. Like uh, the flavor is decent, but it's just really watered down. And the banana notes are solid, but they're just really watered down. Banana and, and um, meatloaf. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. But banana bread. This has loaf, meat, loaf. Jack Daniels meatloaf. Yep. 
I see where you're going. Yeah, it all makes sense in the end. But this has really great notes that are not yeah, watered down. Sure. Yeah, so I'm moving over to the 12 year, at least for the neat. Okay. I, I started Ooh, even sniffing. better nose. It this is, is 110% like I don't get the latex at all. Mm-hmm. It's fruity. It's banana y. It's fruity. Sweet. Like the sweetness yeah. show up a lot more. It uh-huh. is substantial. Like you sold like $10 extra. I'm sold. It's already better. Yeah. You get something weird there? No, no, no. No, it's just just really nice and fruity, uh, bright. Um, the banana's not super on the nose, but it's really fruity, like candy fruity in a way, oh, but not man. like sharp candy like a rye. Mm, okay, on the palate. Mm-hmm. Oh shoot, I gotta go one more time because I already forgot. I want to say okay, I'll, wow. I'll wait a second. It was, I got a little bit nutty, a little peanutty. Uh-huh corn kind of toasted corn yeah. kind of thing yeah and then corn. Good point. the finish is very much more that spiciness i got on the front end of the tent mm-hmm. um it comes in a little bit hot it's nice and warm but the nuttiness is still there like 12 is that's really good like i would yeah. i would drink both of these and love it nose wise i'm a little skewed more towards the 12 but uh-huh yeah, they're both the sip, both great. If you're not going to nose your whiskey a ton, get the cheaper one, save yourself 10 bucks. I, yeah, I prefer the nose of the 12 year, but I actually prefer the palate of the 10 year. The reason is because, oh, perfect. yeah, oak is not overwhelming, it's not overwhelming on the 12 year, but it's noticeably different. Uh, it is almost as if it were a drier uh bourbon or something like that but then it, it actually is sweet but at first you're like wait is this gonna be like oaky dry um the, the 12 or the 10 and it's not Sorry. but it is that's the only thing that's keeping me from like loving this more than the 10 year on the palate that is oh i got sweetness right off the bat on the 12 uh-huh. so a little different all right going to water i do too Maybe I don't. No, right off the bat, it's drier, but then it really shifts to, to, um, to what do you call it? Sweeter. All right, I gotta add some water. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta rush through this because whenever we do an episode with uh, verses, uh, it does take longer. All right, water wise, I get a lot more like. Latex no note is not there. I and I don't know if I'm just because knows. we've gone the way we have gone, but I'm like, uh, what is it? Bananas brown foster. sugar. The smell of brown sugar. Bananas foster. There's the a little banana in there. The There's a little yeah. bit of the caramelized sugar. Yeah. The nose with water is drastically better for me. Hmm. Yeah, that's Ooh. good. Take a sip. Hurry up. Take your sip. Okay. It is not as good with water as it was with neat. Mm-hmm. It definitely... It's it's still semi-sweet, but it's it killed it in a yeah. lot of ways. There's not as much complexity there. I'm not getting that like burny kind of spice. Uh-huh. Um, we will not be having a week in there because it lacks the Bernie. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not as good. It just it just falls flat. I think the nose yeah. for me was better, but it falls flat otherwise. Yeah, yeah. The finish is a little bit, little bit dry. Uh, it is dry. better. Um, it's just not better. That's that's all I gotta it say. Is, is like, I don't get the bitter. The sweetness but definitely... is not fruity as much. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go, I don't the get the bitter now. at all, but it definitely is not as sweet. It's not as, mm-hmm. not as good as it was, but is anything ever as good as it was retrospect hindsight 2020 same as it ever was. Oh, what song is that? Same as it ever was. Uh, that's, uh, once in a lifetime by the talking heads. Yes. And you may ask yourself. 
who is this? You know, what this is, is it, not uh, my this se- is not number my... seven. This is number 12. Yeah. And you may ask yourself, where did this 10 year come from? Once in a lifetime. Once in a lifetime. Now I don't even remember what it tastes like. Water flowing under. All right. Interesting. Okay. So 12 is higher proof. Gosh, I keep forgetting. Yeah. 12 and 10. Yeah. 12 is higher proof. Add a little water. Guess what note I'm getting on the nose? Uh, Add a little water. I'm. Banana. No, I'm getting the latex again. Oh, weird. I wonder. It must just be the certain proofage of a whiskey that I'm getting it. I get it. I don't know. Did not get it on the on the first time for sure. It was sweeter. I don't know. I think I gotta the look into this. Palette was better on the water pour for the twelve year. Uh, the the ten year got a little oaky, too oaky and too dry. Oh really? I get I get that. They're both still drinkable. Right Don't get me they, wrong. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I get dry. I get oaky. Not much sweetness. Uh huh. But they ain't bad. Guess what time it is? Bus driver. Yep. Drop oh, man, that is... cube. I gotta get an equal cube for each. Bars so in the hole. I'm dealing with about the same dilution. All right. Back to the tin. All right, ten year. Back in the tin. The old spin J. The old swirly jack off. Yeah. Making it dizzy. Yeah. Um. Get a little bit of the medicinal. Semi sweet, banana, banana y, banana but fruity, like Still heavier good. on the fruity okay. side. Not bad. Ooh, huh. palette wise, oaky, definitely lighter, goes down easy. I just yeah, I just kind of get a little bit of oak, a little mm-hmm. bit of sweet. It's good. N- nothing. It's all right. Not bad. Yeah, no, nothing that I think I prefer like... it. Mm. Yeah, I prefer it to the water pour on the palate. Really? Okay. Yeah. So Barely. tenure, tenure, you go neat, iced water. That's correct. Yeah. Okay, I go water, neat, iced. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Ugh, I don't like you that get, last sip I had. Are you getting any, my any different notes off of it? Yeah. Weirdly bitter. Okay. After that second sip I just took. That was my ex-girlfriend's um, nickname in high school. Yeah, well, that was my... Uh, that was uh, uh, better than Ezra's uh, sophomore album. Weirdly uh-huh. bitter. Yeah. Ah, uh-huh. it was good. No, it wasn't. All right. Um, nose on the twelve. It's sweet. It's more appley than banana Ooh, for me. Definitely, definitely, still a great nose. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm getting vanilla, but like a like a birthday cake vanilla, as opposed to like straight vanilla extract. So, like, if you're smelling, like, the icing. No, like, the cake itself. I'm... Okay. Mm -hmm. I gotta bury my nose in a birthday cake. Yeah. Apples on the palate. But not, like, Buffalo Trace apples. It's actually really good. For a water... For an ice pour, rather. Uh, But I still think I prefer it neat. Yeah. For an ice pour, this is phenomenal. It it's got tenure. it uh, starts very subtle, and it's got mm. a slow burn. The that spice shows up. Mm. I don't get a lot of like fruity notes. Woo! 
It's got a nice little burn to it once it kind of builds up. Mm-hmm. Slight banana on the very end of the palate, but this is, uh, uh-huh. yeah, no, dude. Huh. I will tell this you this. Are hard. we ready? To, are we ready to move? No, it's not hard. It was the water was cold. That's true. Um, but was it hard water? Oh, geez, Louise, it was when it was ice. <laughs> um, got to think about that. I thought. I love it. You conquered. Yeah. Um. For ten bucks extra, get yourself. In my opinion, get yourself a twelve mm-hmm. year. Um. The 10, I'm going to give a rating. I'm sorry, I'm just moving us along here, Cole. I'm going to no, give a rating of 8.6. The 12 here, I'm going to give a 9.1. The nose to me is better. Um, all three facets, it's just got some complexity to it. But even when we added ice, like it just, I mean, all three components, the neat water mm-hmm. ice, it changed it. It was delicious. Um, you get something a little bit different each time. Mm-hmm. 9.1 for that. It's, that's a delicious whiskey. Yeah. So here's how I'm going to break this down. I, okay. I prefer the neat pour break for both. Up, the 12 oh, year and break the 10 year. So the 12 year, I preferred the nose and the finish of the 12 year, but I preferred the palate in terms of the neat pour. I preferred the palate of the 10 year. Ah, it's a hard one because I think the palate is the most important of all of them. Uh, but I think, yeah, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give the win to the tenure, uh, but by only a very okay. small margin. I'm gonna give an eight point eight to the twelve year, and I'm gonna get an eight point eight five to the ten year. Uh, so barely a barely a win there, but they're very close, and it makes sense. They're the same product just a little older uh and yeah. a little higher proof well and that that tracks because typically you don't like the mm-hmm. oakiness that comes out so it's a little more oaked mm-hmm. we'll see. yeah yeah but i think they're both great and i think jack daniels is doing a great thing i could see jack daniels doing like an antique collection kind of thing and doing really well with it they like a very yeah. special release very rare but like 15 to 18 years uh in the cast strength or uh like a eagle rare 17 where it's like you know, 90 to 101 proof. Go for it. Uh, I think they would thrive with that. I think they would kill it with that. I think they should do that, and I would buy it, and I would seek it out. Uh, so Jack Daniels, good on you, pulling out the H statements. For sure. Keep it up and go further. That's all I got to say. All right. Sounds good. Let's move Thanks along. Again, Brian Let's Rapp. go to uh, Brian. Not even just because you provide the samples, but you're just a baller. Appreciate it. Who's a baller? Yeah. So let's move along. To a segment we like to call Whiskey World News. And we're back. Part of the show, we're reading an article, we're going to talk about it. We didn't write it, going to read it. Here it goes. Uh, um, from the Rob Report, which is the Rob best report. report you can get. Two B's. Uh, <sighs> but you could have two B's, Robbie. I could. Oh. I should. You should. I will. The more uh, these, American the Single Malt you know Whiskey is about to get an official designation from the U.S. government, written by hey. Tori Latham. Single nice. or no, Scotch diehards may sneer at American Single Malt Whiskey, but the U.S. government doesn't seem to have any qualms with the spirit. The Federal Tax and Trade Bureau will soon unveil its official definition of American single malt giving some added legitimacy to the whiskey. The New York Times reported on Monday it will be the first new spirit category in several years and firmly plants the American liquor in the mainstream. It's a necessary gap step to give a critical mass where we have we have here with over 200 distilleries making single malt whiskey in this country. Steve Hawley, the co-founder of American Single Malt Whiskey Commission, told the Times that's more than all of Scotland. We're also bigger than Scotland, so that makes sense. Uh, the proposed definition will impose some rules on American single malts, but it's still much looser than the requirements for one finds in Scotland. Well, the U.S. spirit will need to be made at one distillery using 100% malted barley, the same as in Scotland. It won't need to be distilled on a pot still or aged for at least three years. The relative laxness of the def- definition will ideally allow American single malts to remain well singular. 
Thanks hey. to the country's vastness and variety of climates, agriculture, and traditions, American single malts from different distilleries. I am sorry. I hear a s- 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 every time I say an S now. That happens when I drink. Um, Tim Miller Distillery hues closer to the way things are done in Scotland. Producing a liquid as similar as single malt scotch as possible. But Seattle's Westland Distillery, the Pacific Northwest. Gosh, can you hear the whistle, Cole? No. You're, oh, you're good. Your I'm glad. I hear. Oh, okay. Um, it's ability to make a whiskey that is re- reflective of its place that I love. The official definition on the horizon. Some distillers are worried the r- rules will cut off avenues for experimentation within the field, but Holly's tried to squash fears with emphasizing the broadness of the proposed language because most of the nature of production, American single malt won't ever have a fingerprint from a flavor standpoint, he said, but it will certainly leave its mark on spirits world as an official category in the U.S. market. Any nice. thoughts there, Cole? Yeah, we love American single malts. You know, I originally didn't. I had thought American single malts were a okay. little foreshadowing to Whiskey World News, which I got. What? Whiskey World? Oh, no, you're talking about what whiskey would you uh, choose? What whiskey would you choose? Gosh, doodles. Um, Two whiskeys on one podcast makes for a sloppy second or sloppy third of the podcast. Makes for one dull boy. Um, I, yeah, I love single malts, and and that's the funny thing is that it, we love the whiskey. weird thing is that I think most people are already on board with these rules. I don't think I know any distilleries that are putting out what they call a single malt when it doesn't fit those uh, definitions. So I, I'm a big fan. Let's let's just make it a definition. Let's put it in the law. Let's make it a, fa- a thing, and. Uh, phew, now, Kish. No, I, that's a lisp. That's not a whistle. But I didn't hear anything, Robbie. So don't, don't seriously self conscious. Seriously. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I'm a fan. Let's do it. Let's go and make it a make it a rule and and make it official because we do have rules for rise. We do have rules for heck. We have rules for straight wheat whiskey, but we don't have rules. I mean, of course, we have bu- rules for bourbon, but we don't have rules for American single malt. Let's just put it in play so that no one takes advantage of the system. Okay. Thoughts I'm good with that. Okay, nope. Cool. I love you. You know why? Because you have better I'm thoughts than I do. And no, you're a gorgeous awesome. man. Are you a you Patreon? Know why? Have you ever been Patreon of Chill Filtered? No, but I am Patreon of uh, not the podcast, but they're Oak and Thieves. So mm, shout out to okay. them. Well, you look gorgeous sir, since Thanks. then. No, I don't, I don't have a, a whole dog out with a dog out. Let the dog out. But while you let the dog out, we're going to talk about next week's uh, or last week's results from uh, what whiskey would you choose? So last week, Robbie. Cole, I, I got to be honest. I'm sorry. No, it's all good. <sighs> the Tullamore Dew that I do like is the more expensive, like $50 one. Oh, what's that? And it was like, it's the like Tullamore Dew you find in general. Uh-huh. Hold on here, brother. So last week like we the asked. Standard? Okay. Yeah, yeah, it is. It was, and I was wrong. Um, we said, "What's your like budget friendly favorite yeah. budget friendly Irish?" Yeah. Right. Uh huh. And I went with Teeling, but it was the Teeling that is like fifty bucks. Which uh, I don't know. That's not necessarily mm, budget friendly. No so I feel bad when I posted it. Yeah, and Cole is still more qualified. And guess what, Cole? I won either way. Had I not been disqualified, it was 50 50. Oh, so really? Cool. Interesting. It was. Yeah. Um, but we had some write ins, and I think there's some good ones. Uh, good one. Who gives a dram? Connor. Uh, Proper 12. Marco Nazi. And, and I And after Marco said this, I was like, I agree. Jameson Black, Black Barrel, and Powers Gold Live. I don't know about Powers, but. So I, I Black. forgot about Powers until he brought that up, and I was like, Powers. It's a little more expensive, but Powers can be a great brand, especially their John's Lane edition. I remember that being really good. And then Sean Ciaro went with Bushmills. Nice. I don't think I've ever even actually had any Bushmills, Bushmills product, but yeah. yeah. Um, and then Mad Time Markner, Connemara, and nice. Paul Clarkson, McConnell, never had that. 
I don't think I've ever had like the stand. Uh, the only Connemara I've had is the peated single barrel. So I no. don't know. Didn't we have the twelve year? That's the one we had. The single barrel. You say though. single barrel, but you meant the barrel proof. That's what I meant then. Mm-hmm. See, Cole, you have. That's what I'm here for. Look at look at the mind on you. I already told mind. Graham Hound that, and he's going to keep an eye out for you. Concerning oh, because I messed it up. Gosh, yeah, you said it. single barrel. Mm-hmm. I did. I'm an idiot. It's all good. Um, you're you're still a work in progress. Am my I fair your lady. idiot? Am I your idiot? No, you're my fair you lady. Like, I'm I'm the Lenny. You're my fair lady. Whatever her name was. Okay, George. Julia Roberts. Uh, yeah. And then Brotask and Eskimo are connected to a friend with Glendalo Double Barrel. I got to try that. I have never heard of it. I've never seen it. $36 on Canadian. Homeboy, Bruasco de Espinosa, he showed us a picture of uh, Cavalan, like a, a, I think it's Taiwanese. Um, it looked good. So he's going to set Perfect. aside one for us. Little, okay. little, when he opens it, that is. All right. So, Cole, that brings us to this week. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got a what mm-hmm. whiskey we did choose for you. And it's a what You already know the answer to? Uh no no oh. I don't know the answer to oh because you're gonna say what's your favorite American single malt? Well, there's conditions, Cole. <laughs> ah. It cannot be Del Buck. Okay. What's your that's favorite? A good, that's a good question. American single malt that is not Del Buck because we both agree Del Buck is friggin' awesome and we love yeah. it. So, what's your favorite American single malt that is not Del Buck? And I'm gonna yeah. go first. Okay, you go first. I love, let me just double check here, make sure I get it right because I often get things wrong. But I love Westland American Single Malt. It is nice. so good. It, it's a delicious whiskey. We have it. Have you had slightly. more than the Gariana? Uh, yes. Yeah, okay, just cool. their standard yeah. single malt from Washington State. It is. And it yeah. is delicious and it is, it's, it's really delicious and good. Uh-huh. That's what I'll say. I like it a lot. Nice. Um, and it's not Del Bach. Now, if I could choose Del Bach, I would. Yeah. But I like this. What's yours? That's cool. Uh, I was thinking about a few. I was thinking about Westland. I was thinking about, we had a Bluebird uh, one that was one time. Mm. And then we had, mm-hmm. um, I've had Stranahan's. Um, and I'm trying to think of any other big ones. Um you think about big ones often. Yeah. It's on your mind. I get that. Yeah. And I think I'm going to, you know, I, I was kind of between Stranahan's and this Jack Daniels twice barreled American single malt. And I'm going to go with the Jack Daniels here. Uh, oh, they have a okay. twice barreled American single malt at cast strength and it's real good. Um, and it's a sherry finish. It's very good. So I'm going to go with Jack Daniels here. Wait, what was it finished in? Uh, Sherry Butts. Oh, cool. That drives me nuts, brother. Every time. <laughs> All right. Well, last order of business. What are we drinking next yeah. week? That's a great question. I, uh, oh, crap. I have a list. We didn't, you know t- what? I'm going to, th- earlier next week, I'm going to send a picture of a bunch of samples and I'm going to ask for suggestions to narrow it down to two. Oh, a little different. And yeah. It's kind of noise. I like yeah, that. So we're, we'll keep it in one realm. Maybe we'll do, because this week we did um, Tennessee whiskey. Maybe next week we will do a rye. So I'll put so it what, between some oh, rye. What uh-huh. I, 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 you're throwing some stuff down. Let me know if I'm picking it up. Pick what it you're up. saying is mm-hmm. go on to Instagram, wait yeah. for the post, and you'll wait know what we're voting on. And you'll you'll have an you, what I expect to do is to pay, say like hey write in out of this list of like ten or so write in which one you want to go like head to head and then there'll be a vote on two pick Tuesday of the head to head. That sounds it's different it's new yeah it's, it's it fresh. scares me but it, yeah. we'll see keeping it fresh yeah, for sure yeah keeping it fresh so yeah keep an eye out listeners uh, on Instagram and then uh, we'll do a ride next week. And then soon we're going to be doing the Frontera from Del Bach. Um, maybe not next week. So, 
Oh, you, now you're throwing qualifiers in there that I'm not ready for. Maybe I'll take out. Cole, so, I hope you figure this out because it sounds scary to me. Out. Nah, it's going to be fun. But I hope that you're not scared. I hope that you're brave, Robbie. And Cole, I hope that your beard grows back. And I hope that your beard stays as just the same length every week. Because I like it like what it is now. Oh, but thanks, most man. of all listeners, I hope that our love of whiskey lifted your spirits. Forgiveness beans. I like it. <laughs> we'll tell we'll tell the shelf turds.